traveling and living in different places. Tropical countries like the Philippines, beautiful blue beaches, and an interesting remote lifestyle that you're living there, Danny. But how much does that cost? This is a question that I get quite often, and I've got a video request to break down every single expense that I'm having to really go into detail. On the one side, this video, if you're just curious, how much money am I spending on that? Or maybe you're considering at some point to live a similar lifestyle for some time. This is gonna be the video for you. So we're gonna do it on the example of the Philippines. It has been a recent uh, trip and also I've seen it's kind of, let's say an average cost per month that I spend there. I've been there three times at this point. And today I'm gonna share with you all the dirty details. Where is my money going? How much is it? And yeah. Maybe, maybe not that dirty, but definitely very detailed. I would say we're gonna hop into it very shortly, but before that, a little, maybe big announcement, especially for my Filipino audience. Currently, I'm restructuring my different channels and projects a little bit, and I decided I wanna start a separate channel that is focusing, let's say, also my Philippines travel content. As of right now, I'm doing some little reaction videos over there. So basically, I started a new channel on which my next Philippines travel series hopefully maybe towards the end of the year. We'll see when things are gonna be opening up again. I'm gonna link it below in the description as well in, as in the comments. The new channel, good bunch of Philippines content is gonna be coming there as of right now, as I said, just having some fun over there. But without further ado, let's hop into it and let's break down my cost. So as I said, I spent one month in the Philippines. It was my third visit and it was kind of like an average cost that I have when traveling. As you can imagine, the biggest one is the rent, accommodation, and especially when I'm traveling. I wanna see a few new things. I usually alternate between hostels and Airbnbs. Why is that? Hostels, I, I like the vibe. I love to meet new people. It's almost like on autopilot. And uh, obviously it's also more affordable. So to save the budget, keep it a little bit lower. I spend half of the time usually, especially if I'm in a tropical country, especially if I wanna be social, between like five ten to $10, maybe 11, 12 for nicer hostels. And sometimes you can really get like a nice deals, clean place, cool people. And um, the other half of the time, I usually book Airbnbs between like 20 and $30. So usually my rent averages out in the country like the Philippines for around $400. If I'm spending, uh, let's say, if I'm getting an Airbnb with someone that I'm maybe traveling together with, then that goes a little bit lower. Maybe we spend more time in Airbnbs. But a rough idea and also what I calculated in my little finance app was around $420 I spent on that month on accommodation. Next big one is obviously eating, you know, getting food. And for me, I'm a, I love to cook at home, but also obviously want to try some of the local cuisine. So I usually alternate. I cook one to two meals a day at home. Sometimes I go for a few days where I just only go out, try the local stuff. Maybe also, let's see, saving some time, especially when I'm adventuring out and about. I'm averaging out on around $200 for food. That is also together with eating out every once in a while. Let's say just like maybe restaurants. We're gonna talk about it in a second. But uh, on average, I would say it's around $7 a day. If I eat out more, it averages out in a tropical country like the Philippines for like $10. If I'm more at home, local fruits, fresh and amazing local stuff, around $5. And uh, when it comes to, let's say, transport, obviously, let's say being in the Philippines, love to get a scooter. They go for around $5 and probably around at least half of the time I have a scooter. If I'm spending my time in a city like Manila, you don't wanna go into the traffic there. So uh, there you're gonna go with, let's say, taxis, the public transport, still very affordable, probably less than $5 a day. Sometimes if I'm just on a small island, I obviously don't even really need a scooter. Uh, so I'm averaging out at around $75 for, let's say, transportation. If I'm more stationary, that then falls away sometimes. If I get a scooter for a whole month, for example, like in Bali or something like that, then maybe like around $100 a month. But for the Philippines, 75 is what I spend that month on roughly transportation. Now, let's get into, let's say, the dirty little details. What I usually don't mention too much, but is, let's say, also really a big part of living remotely or, let's say, traveling a lot, is um, a travel insurance. Um, me personally, I got a global insurance around a year ago. It's a long-term insurance. There are different providers that are offering it. Mine is kind of like a mid-range one. Like it's not the cheapest one. They do cover a good bunch of stuff. Also dental, which was important for me. 
just in case, you know, fall on my face. You don't want to talk like that, but <laughs> so I'm spending around 60, no, exactly 59 euro, like 63, 64 dollars on my insurance every month. And uh, let's say going to the gym, that really depends. It's like if you're traveling, it's either going to be a very affordable local gym or it's going to be a tourist oriented gym where they try to rip you off for like 10, 15 dollars per workout. I just out of principle almost never do that. I, I like, I love to sometimes also for just for the experience to work out at local gyms. Usually that costs me like two or three dollars in the country, like Philippines. And um, usually I never spend more than twenty dollars because I also have my, let's say, home workout equipment. I have my resistance bands and uh, especially let's say if I'm on a tropical island, I very often also like to wake up a little bit earlier, have a coffee, have maybe kind of like a beach workout or at least like let's say an Airbnb workout. You don't want to be the freaky guy in a hostel who like you know everybody comes out you're just working out in the lobby but i'm not gonna say it never happened but um yeah so uh, sometimes it's never really more than 20 dollars this is also what i used to pay for my gym membership so this is kind of like what i i usually on it i i work out usually twice a week in a gym and another one or two times at home when i'm traveling also just to save time you don't always want to look for a gym but other than that i do love the experience when it comes to other spendings, I definitely spend a little bit of money on clothing every month. Usually something, let's say, ripped, something, the quality is just not that good anymore. I washed it maybe too much, maybe it burned out under the sun, so maybe get a new shirt. Just recently stocked up on a good bunch of new black shirts, especially in the last few months and years while I was traveling a lot. I just stick with the basics, so I get a jeans, maybe one, like one or two a year, maybe some new shirts, um, and on average, I spend like around twenty-five dollars. Sometimes I don't buy any clothing in a month. Sometimes I spend like fifty bucks. So I remember in the Philippines, I bought swimming shorts, and I really, really liked them. And then I got into a little bit of a motor um, scooter accident, and they ripped. Yeah, I wasn't happy about that, but. Things happen, so that was the only, let's say, note that I made for clothing that I bought, $25. Sometimes, as I said, a little bit more, sometimes a little less. And uh, for the most part, let's say when it goes out, uh, goes comes to going out and free time, like for me, going out is often connected, maybe, maybe have a little drink in the Philippines, it would be like a San Miguel, maybe have a shisha and chargao, they had, they had it, I like to have it maybe once a week, once every two, three weeks. And um, that runs me usually less than $50 a month. Why? Because I also calculate, let's say, the going out to eat, which on average between like $5 and $10, if it's like, let's say, a mid-range place is a place and not the most touristy area. So um, usually also go with a little bit more local establishments. So also a part of that is already in my eating budget. So around $200 is also included with like let's say having a nice grill maybe. When it comes to monthly expenses, the only subscription that I have is Spotify. For my music and my podcast, this is uh, not an endorsement. Every once in a while, I also get audiobooks with Audible. We'll see if I'm maybe gonna pop a link in the description. I wanted to do it for a long time, but Audible, usually I buy the book separately just because I also like to read paperbacks. I prefer them over audiobooks. Um, that's a different story just because it really calms me down. It helps me like to not always be on the phone and just like, uh, you know. So that's why I actually started to read paperbacks again. And I get usually on average one book a month. Again, sometimes two, sometimes a month I don't get a new one. And with that, on average, I spend like 15 to $20. So that's another expense that just keeps coming up in my life. And overall, that's pretty much it. Of course, every once in a while I make, let's say, a little camera up upgrade. Maybe I buy a new phone. On the year, I see it more as a business investment. So I would say there is no really point to talk about that. Another big one that I obviously haven't mentioned that people also ask a lot about is the flying. And also the Philippines here is a good example again. Um, one or two flights if, if I'm traveling. Then I took a flight from, again, Palawan uh, through Cebu to Siargao for around $100 and that totals out for $140. But pretty much in total in the Philippines, when I was there in between of November and December, I spent $860 a month. For me, this is kind of like an average month. I'm living definitely quite frugal because for me it's extremely important, let's say, to put some money aside, to not live below my means or just, let's say, on zero. So $860 a month with the living, with the eating out, all the little things that I buy, even my Spotify, 
even the book that I may be buying in the airport. In total, with the flights, for some reason, roughly, it's here around like exactly a thousand dollars, but you could say if I calculate the flights with it and also I'm moving around a lot, this is what pretty much is a good representation of how much my lifestyle is currently costing me. And um, to also set it in perspective, let's say when I was living in Bali for two months, there I was spending a little bit less just because I didn't move around as much. So found a little bit of a more affordable place, often have been living with people together. So you're splitting the price and having maybe an even nicer place because of that. And uh, just generally you find the little places you like to go and you can, let's say, budget more effectively. So on average, I spent $700 in Bali and I also obviously didn't took any flights within Bali. It's part of Indonesia. It's a big island. Uh, but to contrast, when I was in September last year in New York City, that was a thousand five hundred roughly. But uh, yeah, people asked for this video for a long time and I also wanted to use the chance to introduce to you my uh, other project where I'm currently doing videos surrounding Philippines, Filipino culture. So as of right now, I just uploaded there a few reaction videos, trying out some new stuff, not taking myself too serious and most likely with Danny Got a Roll to see I want to have more of a silver lining, more of a structure, not have too much of different content. You're going to see what I mean by that in the next few weeks and months. But likely I will also upload my next travel series in the Philippines on the new channel. So check it out. It's going to be in the description box or down there in the comments where you as always connect with me on Instagram where you can stay up to date what I'm up to a new travel series from another country is coming up as well and we're gonna see each other very soon.